at the Salzburg Ring, we were introduced to the brand new Alfa Romeo Giulietta. We'd seen the car for a couple of races at the start of the season, but a massive upgrade went on over the months of May, and the car is now much better. I want to show you exactly what they've done. Visibly, I can tell, show you, but also get into the nitty gritty. Firstly, the front bumper. It's clearly a lot different. The shape, the Alfa Romeo shape remains, but inside, the air ducting is completely different. So all the air that goes through here is now being directed up through the intercooler at the top of the engine, and then the air comes out of the bonnet here. They've also reduced the amount of air going into the front bumper at the lower half. If you look at all the cars from the Seats and the Hondas, this space is actually quite small. It doesn't need to be that big for cooling. The original Alfa Romeo had a huge area all the way down to here that was open, allowing air to go in. Great for cooling, but really, really bad for aero efficiency and the way that the car punches its way through the air. So they've reduced it. You can see now this is all a flat plane. The air's hitting that and coming off the side of the car rather than going into the engine bay. And a specific area, a square area here, where it goes in to cool the engine through the radiator, the main radiator through there. That air will then go into the engine bay and be dispersed in an efficient fashion rather than going in there and getting kind of muddled up. As soon as the air is rocking around inside the engine bay, it's slowing the car down. If we go to one side of the, the uh, bumper, we can see on here, if you come really, really close in, there's a line. And that line was the original bumper line. It was a flat plane that went on like that. Now they've pushed the bumper back a little bit to direct the air out and away from the wheels and uh, therefore actually allowed more splitter to be used when the air hits it. So rather than uh, we've got what an extra three centimeters there of splitter that's being used for front downforce. And finally inside the engine bay we now have a new intercooler, they have a new turbo and yes the engine is still just a 1750 rather than a two litre turbo that most of the other competitors are so they are slightly down on power anyway but they have done a much better job and they're waiting until Alfa Romeo produce a two litre for the new Giulia and then that will go in and they can be just as on an equal playing field at least with the other competitors. By the way, this engine normally, as a road car, produces 180 brake horsepower. In race spec, over 300. So they've done a huge amount to eke as much performance out of that engine as possible. I'll leave it to you whether you prefer the all red livery or indeed this honeycomb livery that they put on the car. I think I prefer it to be super rosso red. Either way, we're looking forward to seeing this car back on circuit in Osterschleben and the rest of the season in a more performant fashion.